News 13 is there as another Albuquerque smoke shop is busted for selling spice. The DEA calls the synthetic drug one of the most popular drugs among young people in the metro and one of the biggest threats. Kayla Ayers is live in the Newsplex. Dean, the DEA gave us an up-close look at the effort that goes into getting the dangerous drug off the street. From the undercover buys to the bust, a lot of work went into making sure today's operation ended with not just an arrest, but a conviction. The DEA puts the emergence of spice on the same threat level as heroin in the metro area. It's illegal to possess. It's illegal to sell. It's illegal to transport. So they were watching this morning as FedEx made a delivery at Full Spectrum Smoke Shop. They just got a package delivered from FedEx. We think it could contain spice. An undercover officer later buys a four gram vial of what's marketed as potpourri for 30 bucks. El Diablo, this is my favorite 30 stuff each? right here, yeah. The, the fact that a lot of these synthetic drugs are sold in smoke shops uh, gives it perhaps the uh, assumption of it's not as bad or maybe it's not that elite, not that illegal. But it is illegal and dangerous. Just minutes after the buy, officers move in, unsure exactly what they're walking into. All right, guys, are making their approach. Two clerks and the smoke shop owner were arrested. Agents seized a vehicle and an undetermined amount of cash, along with 1,400 grams of suspected spice. No one uses it for potpourri. No one uses it for incense. It is not aromatherapy. According to the DEA, smoke shops have a hard time keeping spice on the shelves. Shop owners have admitted in the past that up to 90% of their revenue comes from the sale of spice. Unfortunately, uh, that's what drug dealers do. They prey on the, the weakness of individuals who have addictions for their own profits. With a drug that's targeted at those as young as 12, every bust helps. Well, significant, insignificant. The bottom line is we've taken drugs off the street and it's made the community safer. Now, both of those store clerks are charged with distribution and conspiracy. Patrick Perea, the owner, is charged with distribution, possession, and conspiracy. Each charge carries up to 18 months in jail. Back to you. Kayla, thank you. This is not the first time that Full Spectrum Smoke Shop has been in the news. Last year, an employee at the smoke shop's old location shot two armed robbers who were trying to hold up the store.